Don't be afraid. He's a hermit. A hermit? What's a hermit? A hermit looks into his heart to discover the truth. By himself? He listens in silence to the voice of his God. Happy the man who never follows the advice of the wicked, or loiters on the way that sinners take, or sits about with scoffers. He is like a tree that is planted by water streams, yielding its fruit in season, its leaves never fading. Success attends all he does. The wicked will not stand firm when judgment comes, nor sinners when the virtuous assemble. But the way of the wicked is doomed. The heavens praise your marvels, Lord. You master the force of the seas and calm the crashing waves. Yours are the heavens, yours the earth. You have created the world and all that is in it. Your arm is powerful, your hand is strong, your right hand is steady. Blessed be the people who praise you. and walk in your light. You are our pride and our strength. Lord, you are our shield. First is over. Are you looking for more trouble? Wait for me! Where do you think you're going? Thirsty too, you know. Hey, Nazarene. Are you hungry? Do you remember what John the Baptist said about you? Your father in heaven loves you. You are the chosen one. What made you come to this desert? No, I'm not a figment of your imagination. I really am here, and I'm talking to you. If you don't eat, you'll die here in this desert. If you really are the son of God, why don't you tell this stone to become bread?
Fire. Tell this stone to turn into bread. It is written, man does not live on bread alone, but on every word that comes from the mouth of God. <laughs> Come on, little one. It's time we were on our way. Let's go and look for something to drink. <laughs> What's wrong? Want from me? Look around you. Look around. I ask you again, what do you want from me? You are the Son of God. So throw yourself down from here. Throw yourself down. For it is written, He will instruct His angels to protect you. And it is also written, he will order his angels to protect your every move. Their hands will hold you up so that your feet will not stumble against a single stone. You must not put the Lord God to the test. <laughs> What's wrong? Were you looking for me? I've got nothing to worry about. As long as you're with me, Nothing will happen to you. Well done, my little friend. Come here. I'm not sleeping. I'm just resting a bit. Perfect aim. You really earned your reward. So, we meet again. I... I want to show you something. this city. Do you see all this wealth and power? 
All that you have seen is mine. All the kingdoms of the world belong to me. But I can give them to whom I wish. All you have to do is bow down before me. And then all this will be yours. Be off, Satan. For it is written, you must worship only the Lord your God. Him alone. Him alone. Him alone must you worship. Now be off. Time has come to return to Galilee, for the kingdom of God is close at hand. Your food and water have refreshed me and my poor donkey. I won't forget your kindness. Why did you choose to leave the world? It's not that I hate the world. I love it, maybe too much. So much that I had to leave it. It is here, only here in the desert, that I managed to read my heart, to pray. Well, tomorrow I'll be on my way. I know. You have begun a long journey. You can't stay here. You can't stay anywhere. You have to keep going until you reach your destination. May God watch over you on your way. Coming, or do you want to stay there? for him for 40 days now. I know, but he can't be far off. We'll find him, don't you worry. Just stand there. Do you need an invitation? Oh. Come. Come in. You need something to eat and drink. <laughs> Bring us something to drink. about you? Don't you want anything?
Come over here, pilgrim. You are a pilgrim, aren't you? What are you doing here? Where do you come from? From the desert. There he is. Master. Master, we've been looking for you for 40 days. Who are you? I'm Andrew. This is John. We were with the Baptist, who told us you were the Messiah. He said that he must grow smaller so that you can be greater. John, I assure you that among men, no one has been greater than John the Baptist. And yet, even the smallest in the kingdom of God is greater than him. It's time to go, my little friend. What do you two want? Where are you going, Rabbi? Come, and you will see. Jesus, a man among men. At the age of 30, after being baptized by John, he withdrew to the desert to pray. And just like any other man, he suffered from cold, hunger, thirst, heat, tiredness. It was then that Satan tried to tempt him, but Jesus defeated him. The Spirit led him into the desert where he spent 40 days and was tempted by Satan. So we are told by the Gospel according to St. Mark. According to Christian tradition and to scholars, the place where Jesus was tempted was the desert of Judah, a region that in the past had often welcomed anchorites and prophets who wished to retire in solitude far from the world to meet God. Here, in fact, in those days, John the Baptist lived, and here was also the principal center of the religious community of the Essenes. The desert of Judah is a split in the Earth's crust caused by the collision of two continental plates, the Asian plate and the African plate. The Asian plate collided with the African and thrust it upwards, thereby folding it. This explains why the desert of Judah lies 400 meters below sea level. The folding is represented by the mountain ridge of the mountains of Judah, extending 30 kilometers from here towards the Mediterranean Sea up to Jerusalem. It is a steppe covered by grass during the short winter rains and is scantily inhabited and frequented by nomad shepherds and hermits. Today, the Greek Orthodox monastery of Mount Karantal lies a few kilometers away. It was so named after the 40 days spent there by Jesus. The Jewish phrase 40 days generally meant a long period of time. For this reason, the duration of the flood is considered to be 40 days, and that of the Jews' exodus in the Sinai Desert, 40 years. The word Satan means accuser or slanderer, diabolos in Greek. In the first book of the Old Testament, Genesis, the devil, or angel who rebelled against God, is presented as a snake, a victorious tempter, the enemy of man's happiness, eager to lead all men to perdition with him. But men can become his slaves only by their own fault, by sin. But Jesus takes every power away from him through his own triumph, from his birth to the cross to his resurrection. Thus, the devil fears him because he knows that he can never win. 
But still, how could Jesus be tempted by his enemy? Some scholars argue that Satan wanted to tempt him in order to clear a doubt that haunted him whether Jesus was really the Messiah, the Son of God, the one he feared and who could ultimately defeat him. And on that occasion, in the desert of Judah, he obtained the confirmation he was looking for. <laughs> 